totally out of line. It'll never happen again. Right. Yeah, you're right. It, it never happened. <laughs> we'll just work together side by side. Professional at all times. That's what I'd like to know. What are you doing? You and Liza? So cut to the chase. What are you asking for? Thanks. Just a chance to uh, get in on a creative end. Set the schedule, book the guests. Ooh. Brainstorm for new ideas for the shows. Very ambitious for an intern. Look, all I'm asking for is a shot. Just let me sit in on a couple of the meetings. I've got a lot to bring to the party. I admire your initiative. Don't you mean nerve? <laughs> I'll give it serious consideration. In the meantime, I'd like for you to do a teeny little favor for me. That's it? That's all? What did you think I was going to ask for? Your eternal soul? Oh, well, yeah, that or, or, or my firstborn. <laughs> Am I really that menacing of a presence? No, but uh, I hear that power corrupts. Is that true? Well, I think you might have to judge for yourself when Tad signs on that dotted line. Watch him while he's on his way up. You are totally psyched about Tad's promotion. Yes, I am. I think it's a great opportunity. I think Tad is the right man at the right time. I think he's going to put our show on the map. Well, I thought that was your job. I'm a team player. Okay, so how do I get involved in this team? You already are, Jason. You're an indispensable part of this team. Oh, yeah, that's me, the indispensable intern, delivering those contracts, making sure those coffee urns are at their fullest. When you're launching a major project, every detail is very important. You take, for instance, uh, Dixie. Dixie, what does she have to do with this? Nothing. That's exactly the problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Dixie does not have a creative influence. Her vision is narrow and dull. That's why we have to keep Tad very busy at the studio so she doesn't blunt his edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I really respect you, okay? And, and I really want you behind my career, but trashing people I know and like? I'm sorry. No job is worth that. <laughs> Jason, I, I didn't know you had such a soft spot for Dixie. Well, I don't. It's, it's just that uh, she's... <clears throat> Where are the contracts? I'll deliver them now. Okay. Great. And this one's on me. these meetings with Liza, reminisce about the good old days? Hello. You talk about what might have been? Where is all this coming from? Why did you tell Liza to forget about what happened last night? You were listening to my phone call. Well, if your phone calls are so damn private, maybe you should get your what own What exactly mind. are you accusing me of? What exactly did you and Liza agree to forget? We had a fight. Okay. About what? I don't know, Dix. What, what does anybody have a fight with their boss about? I don't That's know. an answer? Why do I suddenly feel like I'm strapped to the chair getting the third degree? I don't know, Ted. Maybe because you have something to hide. Yeah, that's it. It has nothing to do with the fact that now my wife is monitoring my phone call. I didn't even know that you were on the phone. I just picked it up to dial out. And what, the receiver stuck to your hand? No, I heard a few words. It gave me the chills. Well, if you're suffering from a major case of overreaction, Dixie, next time you decide to eavesdrop on a person's private phone call, maybe you should listen to the whole thing. Well, maybe that's what I have to do to get the truth. We had a disagreement about the format of the new show. Are you satisfied? The format of the show. This is what you and uh, Liza have to get past. Yeah, we've both been under a lot of stress lately. It got ugly. That's what happened. I don't know, Ted. Why do I have the feeling that you're leaving something out? Fine. 
Don't take my word for it. Whatever, you know? If it's going to make you happier, why don't you just put a tracking device in my clothes, you know? Drop a bug in my shorts. Hell, am I wired already? Children, children, settle down. Whatever happened to domestic bliss? You ever heard of breaking and entering? Where's my son? Where he always is at this time of day, at school. How did you get in? The housekeeper heard me above the din. In case you haven't noticed, Adam, now's not a very good time. Yes, I could tell that from the front porch. So what, you just decided to barrel in? I thought the children might be in need of some sort of diversion. This, they shouldn't be subjected to this kind of thing. Tad and I would never argue in front of Junior or James. <laughs> oh, please. I'd be happy to take them for a few days. Don't try to blow this up into a crisis. The thing to do is to get hold of yourselves before the crisis sets in. Oh, that's sweet. Maybe I'll needlepoint that on a pillow. I have the name of a very good marriage counselor. I'm sure you do. Unfortunately, that's like taking sailing advice from the captain of the Titanic. We don't need a counselor. We're just fine. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I know how you get off on other people's setbacks. Actually, I came to celebrate your triumph. Now is not the time. I'm on my, my, my way to the studio. Come on, let me show you out. Triumph? What triumph? You mean yesterday's show? The ratings were astonishing. Insights from the crowbar killer? No, the Louis Greco thing got a lot of attention. Oh, wonderful. I had my doubts about Tad and Are the host's you chair. In the driveway? I thought we need a big, needed a bigger name. Are you blocking my car? But when I watched the playback, I was convinced. Liza was right. Tad is the one to replace Erica. Congratulations. Thank you very much. When were you planning on telling me? Just before you... A minute ago. When did you find out? Last night. Is this news? No, I, um, I went to bed early, uh, so... Well, you know, we'll celebrate later. Congratulations. Yeah, see you then. Always a pleasure, Anna. May I sound a cautionary note? No. Go home. Tad's horizons are expanding. A lot of very exciting things are happening for him. It would be a mistake to hem him in. Are you trying to give me marital advice? I'm telling you what works for me. Nothing has so far. Oh, that's not true. <sighs> what about me and Brooke? You and Brooke are divorced. No. We won't be. Will she be my wife again before the new year? Brooke would not marry you if you were the last man on the galaxy. Well, she's living with me even as we speak. Oh, I guess she's coming over for dinner, staying for breakfast. No, 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 no. We're cohabitating. Oh, I'm sure. And she's given up her house, too, I bet. That'll be next. <laughs> you are so overconfident. No, I'm a new man. Yes, yeah, says who? Brooke. Well, she will by the end of the month. By then, I will have demonstrated to her that I'm no threat to her personal space. Oh, yeah? And then what, are you going to lock her up in your tower? No, she's a free spirit. Very much like Tad. That's why we mustn't rein them in. And this from a six-time marital loser. Your record's not too good either, sweetheart. Adam, go home. Don't say I didn't try to warn you. Go home before I throttle you with dirty laundry. Oh. I almost forgot to give this to Tad. Mm -hmm. Vodka? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's Tad's favorite. A little congratulatory gift. Tad drinks wine. Well, this is what he started off with last night. Last night? Studio? Oh, no, at the Valley Inn. The first, the finest Russian vodka, and then, <laughs> then he went to Orsini Champagne. Ugh. He was drinking at the Valley Inn? Well, he wasn't drunk. <laughs> uh, at the bar by himself? He's had a hard day. You wouldn't begrudge the man a drink. Champagne alone. This is the very kind of thing that you should avoid nitpicking about was the detail. Is he alone or not, Adam? He... The place was jammed. Who was he with? A colleague. All right, it was Liza. Don't get excited. It was a friendly business dinner. I mean, it was, wasn't it? Excuse me, Adam. I think I need some personal space. Uh, 
I mean, it was, wasn't it? Yes! Martin. Oh, uh, honey, I'm, I'm swamped. I'm gonna have to call you back later, okay? Well, why don't you call me back immediately, because we have a serious problem here. What is it now? For starters, you lied to me. <clears throat> um, sorry, some, somebody's here. I'm gonna have to go. Um, I'll, uh, I will call you later. All right, bye. Hi. Marshall, let me in. <laughs> Uh, Marcia, well, it's nice to see a friendly face for a change. What's this? Tad's new contract. Great. Well, you just missed him. He went to the studio. I'll pass them along. Was that him just now on the phone? Yeah. It's been one of those I shouldn't have gotten out of bed days. You know, no way do you deserve this. <laughs>